hello guys welcome back to another video i just woke up because it's like i don't know it's like 9 40 so i don't mind my voice but today i'm going to be showing you how to get hold on give me a second yeah i'm gonna be showing you how to get gorilla tag mods without a pc and without Aerolink either no Aerolink. yeah that i don't use a pc for real tag mods so, but I still use SteamVR, so let's get right into the video. So first, you want to go in the link in the description and download Monkey Mod Manager. So you just have to go to the link and then it'll bring you probably to this page. Scroll down and then download monkeymodmanager.exe. And then also, when you're done with that, install Steam, also in the link in the description. And download Steam VR. It's free, so you can download it. Steam VR. See? And then go to Gorilla Tag on Steam and download that as well. All you can see is scroll down. It's free to play. And you can download this. Do not download this one. This is the DS DS is the DLC. Download the top one right here. It says play Gorilla Tag, free to play, play game. And do the same thing with Steam VR. And then, if you want to use a soundboard, <coughs> oh, let's see here. You can go to SoundPad or SoundPad Demo and just uh, connect it and add any songs to you want to it. And you can download the demo right here. And then you could just play whatever songs you want. If you are using the SoundPad, don't worry, it is not a virus, I promise. It is on Steam. Steam is a very trusted website. It's not even a website. It's a literally an app. It's very trusted. I promise this will not give you any sort of virus at all. I have it downloaded. I'll show you. Right here. Let's go into it. And then see, it has a bunch of music. You can add whatever music you want. But anyway, let's get back into that mod thing. So, so make sure you have Steam, Steam VR, and Google Tech download it. Download it. Download it, whatever. And also make sure you have Monkey Mod Manager. So, now go into Monkey Mod Manager. Just search up monkeymodmanager.exe. Open. Okay, now it should bring you to this page. Now, this is where you need to pay attention. So, now scroll down. And you should probably see Banana Hook, Bep Inject, Computer Interface, Ext Inject, and all this stuff. Apply everything except for Newton Soft, JSON. So, Quiet Utila, CMP Loader, Ext Inject, Computer Interface, Computer Interface, and Banana Hook if you want it. So, I'm not gonna, I don't use Banana Hook just for, um, I don't really use it that much. I don't really need it at all, so. I already have this stuff downloaded, but I'm going to download it again just for that. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Did I get rid of X inject? Oh, crap. Okay, install slash update. Okay, then just install that stuff. And then you can go, and then you can go to the top and download it, and download whatever you want, like any sort of mods you want. Maybe Monkey Map Loader, maybe a Dash Monkey Air Jump. I don't know. Gorilla Cosmetics. You definitely probably want that. And then have, when you have everything that you want checkmarked, you could just hit Install Slash Update. And then when you're done with that, go to Utilities. Go to Bep and X folder. Go to Plugins. And then you have all the mods you want here. This will be your Gorilla Tag and Bepin X folder. So you can apply every single mod that you want here in Plugin. So now that we finished up with Monkey Mod Manager, go into Steam. And then make sure you have Virtual Desktop or Oculus Airlink. If you don't have either of those, this will not work. I will use Virtual Desktop. Hit the settings on the side here, manage, browse local files, and I'm just showing you right now how to get to, um, well, I, there's an error, 
Right now I'm just showing you how to get uh, to the mods and apply all the mods. So now when you hit browse local files, it'll take you to this. And then you should see Bep and X at the top. Hit that. And it'll take you to this. Hit plugins. And this is where all your mods will be. You can add whatever mods you want to this. I will link a Discord with a bunch of mods in it. So in the description below. So you can just download a bunch of mods. I right now I have a mod menu and the player model mod from my last video. Because I didn't take that out. So now moving up to VR. Now go into your VR headset. Go into virtual desktop or airlink, whatever. If you are using Airlink, then you're gonna hit launch Gorilla Tag in Oculus VR mode. If you're using Airlink. But if you're using Steam VR, then hit launch Gorilla Tag in Steam VR mode. I'm not on my VR headset right now, so I'm not doing it. Now when you're in virtual desktop, go to at the bottom. Make sure you have virtual desktop streamer and the Oculus app downloaded. I probably have that linked too, right? Alright, well. Oculus app download. Oculus app. Alright. And then download the Oculus Rift software. I will once again link this in the description. So. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna link um, Gorilla Tag 2 in the description. Why does it take so long to do this? Hold on. Girl tag. All right. Now that we have that, so download the Oculus app and virtual desktop streamer. None of this is a virus, I promise to you guys. I swear in my life, none of this is a virus. So, because I have it all downloaded. Virtual desktop right here. There you go. And then I'm also going to link this in the description as well. I'm linking a lot in the description, but it doesn't, I don't care. And then hit download the streamer app for Windows. But if you're on, if you're not on Windows, download the streamer app for Apple. And then, don't, don't mind the Discord, but... Okay, now that you're done with that, so... Whoop. Now, back into the VR headset. So now that you have all that downloaded, you should see a button at the bottom... Virtual desktop streamer. Okay, so basically, when you're in virtual desktop, there's nothing I can do with this computer now, but wait, I can just, I'm not using the computer right now. So, when you're in virtual desktop, you are going to see, you're going to see uh, most likely your computer if it's connected, or you'll just see a black screen. It doesn't matter what you see. So make so hit the menu button on your left Oculus controller, hit it, and then you will see a button at the bottom left that says Launch Steam VR. Hit it, and then in the first like ten seconds or so, it should take you right into Steam VR. If you first just download the Steam VR, it will be a bigger process and it might take like up to a minute or two minutes, right, to get you into Steam VR. So that is fine. So all you need to do with that is, so when you're in the Steam VR home, you should see like a void, which is like a Steam VR void. And then now is where you go back onto your laptop. Go into Steam and make sure you have Gorilla Tag open right here. Make sure you have your mods on and stuff. Then hit play on Gorilla Tag and hit launch in Steam VR mode and then hit play. And then if you're on a laptop, it will take a while. But if you're, a, if you're using, like, a very powerful gaming PC, it'll only take, like, five seconds. So, if it's, if you're using a laptop, then it will take, like, five to ten seconds. No, absolutely not. Like, f a minute to, like, get the, like, there will be, like, a little box that pops up on your Steam Void. I'll show you what it looks like on Google, but look. So, this is what it'll look like. Um, images. 
Maybe I could find it somewhere. Um, somewhere. Hopefully. Um, never mind. I don't need to that up. There's no point. Okay. Now you can winter. There's like a little box that'll say gorilla tag. When you, in like a 50 seconds later or something. After you hit the play button. So, and then, when you see that little box that says either next up under the gorilla tag box. Or it will say waiting under the gorilla tag box. Right in front of your face. So, what, then when your laptop will have like just a black screen. Like this. Like this, it'll just be a black screen. Oh. I turned off my computer. Oh. Whoops. Well, whatever. Hold on this. Can I turn it back on? Okay, we're good. I'm not, I'm not logging back in. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, once you, once you have a black screen on your laptop, that means you're actually going into Gorilla Tag. It will take like 10 seconds to go into the game if you are on a laptop. Or it will take like five seconds to go into the game if you want a very powerful gaming PC again. And then it will take you right into the game. And then you can use your mods and play around with them. Not in public lobbies. And yeah. Have fun. And make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. And yeah, bye guys.